Alaska in Ketchikan. I know Robert used to be a gold mine called Alaska. AJ. We are in Skagway this morning. And we're getting on the train. Close to the borderline. Oh, yeah, White Pass Summit. We are in Skagway this morning. We're waiting on our tender. We have to be tendered in this morning due to the rocks falling. We couldn't dock at the actual pier. So we are just waiting. It's about eight o'clock in the morning and our excursion is the train ride and it is at nine. So we're waiting to be called. Baby, are you excited? This is your excursion you've been wanting for a while. Yep, I am. I'm also half asleep. <laughs> yeah, it is very early this morning. So here we are on the tender. How is it? I don't know. We haven't moved yet. They're pretty big. It looks small from the outside, but look how big it is. How many people they can fit in here? taking us to the train. Yep. Back on here by five o'clock for the last tender to come back. Or they'll leave you. Yep. Is that the Viking ship? No, it's Holland America. Holland America? <laughs> so they just let us off the tender and the stock. We're waiting for the rest of Emmy's family to show up. The weird part is, they only tendered us only a little bit far from the ship. We could have easily walked it. <laughs> I think it's close to it's the rocks. Probably close. To, yeah, maybe they're scared of the rock slides due yeah, to security yeah, reasons. The rocks. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah. And let me see if I can zoom in on the little fenced area part there. So it's uh, upper 40 degrees. Is that right? Uh, what uh, temperature? supposed to rain later. It's supposed to rain later. And the thing is, <laughs> this is only their summer. And we're only at the southern uh, half of Alaska. I can just imagine what people go through when it's actually winter time and further up north in Alaska. <laughs> this is still pretty darn cold. As you can tell here, let me see if I can zoom in to, there's some snow already. The mountainside. I've never been this far north before. It's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the gorgeous views here. Now we're walking towards the station. Good morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> good news is not much of a walk to the station. There we go. We handed the attendant our ticket. And we're getting on the train. Alright there folks, then you remember the steps are down to your left. There's no best car, no best side. You're all great. We have a large group. Group of eight, so I don't know if we'll be able to fit in one cart. Alright, we managed to get into a cart fit with eight people. We've got to put us all the way in the back cart. But we made it. But we made it. <laughs> and then, look at this, there's some, I don't know if, the, if they pick up on the camera, those are berries. How many of them growing, wild berries? Here and loop. Alright, let me see if I can get a so shot of them. So we just go up to here and loop. It won't go all the way up here because Canada's oh, yeah. regulations. Oh yeah. Uh, white horse, yeah, I was thinking of white horse, but it looks like we're not. We're you loop right here. Probably, yeah. Close to the borderline. Oh, yeah, White Pass Summit. Yeah, so we're over <laughs> right here or over here. I don't know if it'll show up in no, camera. No, the trains aren't allowed. Oh, the trains aren't allowed. It's still a long way. Look at that. It is. Going through. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's still a lot. It's just half of it. So it's the first summit. 
and not the this other white horse place. Still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Look at the elevations though. How, how yeah, we're really high? going up high. White, White Pass Summit, 2,888 feet hmm. above sea level. Wow. That's crazy. Missed all the berries. It's coming up. There's the berries right there. by fast. Wow. This train is going ahead of us to try to keep in schedule. Water shot there. There it goes. There's a shot of the other train.
chilly. Oh yeah, temperature's dropping even more. I can feel it. <laughs> I can feel it in my hand. What's so unique about this experience is that it starts off warm at the start of the train station and it gets gradually colder and colder. So definitely bring gloves when you're planning to do this trip. It's still a pretty cool experience. You yeah. Know? So glad I did this. Is that ice? Uh, where? All these white caps. No, that's uh, moss. Oh. Ooh. My hands, though. Ooh. Temperature's dropping even more, right? Yeah. I'm feeling it. So when that conductor lit that oven, I was like, nah, we're not going to need that. It's pretty yeah. warm. But now I can understand it. Oh. How cold it is. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, like the windows are completely fogged up. Fogged up inside. So, we're not even at the top yet of the summit. Oh my gosh, my nose is running. So we're not even at the top of the summit yet, and it is freezing. Freezing. Um, I would say it's probably in the teens up here. We haven't seen any ice yet or snow or anything. But let me tell you, look at my breath. Florida girl does not see this often. Up here, here's a body of water. I would not want to be in it right now, but it's way up here at the top. Well, kind of at the top. We haven't reached, once we hit um, the summit, we turn around and come back, I believe. Not definite, but look at that. Water way up here. Inside the train now waiting to do our loop we have just entered um, British Columbia and it's about to turn around and come back down so um, we're just sitting here waiting I figure we'll get back to the train uh, downtown area by the ship probably around noon right now it's about 1030 